how these graves are. So the bodies are in, they would have been carved, cut, so they would have carved into the stone? Good morning, my loves. I hope you're doing amazing. Welcome to another day in Lancaster. My time here is ending. Um, feeling mixed about it. I'm very excited to get back to my, my wonderful hubby and I get home to Uganda, but it's been quite an experience being here going through this. Um, but yeah, I'm actually I'm leaving on Thursday. Um, it'll be after this, <laughs> it'll be, sorry, before this vlog is posted. Um, and I'm going down to London to see my best friend in the world, Adama. Um, Adama um, was signed to DreamWorks when I was also in the music business, and we have been friends for 15 years, a long time, and I never really get to see her because we live so far apart. So I'm very excited to see her and her kids and spend some time with her before I head back to Uganda, so that's amazing. So... <coughs> <clears throat> still fighting a little bit of a cough. I don't think it's actually going to go until I reach Uganda, to be honest with you. I have realized how much I need vitamin D <laughs> after being here, but it's been beautiful in other ways, so <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting back to vitamin D, though. But anyway, today I want to take you out. Uh, I'm not sure how much I'll show you, but there was a place I wanted to show you in a place called Hisham, an incredibly old, I can't remember the year that it was, it was a few weeks ago I posted a vlog or a week or so ago about when I hurt my um, rib I fell. It was from, we discovered it that, well I discovered it that day. Um, so I want to take you back there really quickly today to show you these amazing old graves and this very old church and I'll uh, give you all the info about how old it is when we actually get down there. So come along today, I will see you in the next clip and I love you guys. So we're just heading down to the, the church at Hisham I told you about. We're in Morecambe. I just showed you Morecambe Bay. So we're going to head down there and show you some history. Yeah, because when we came last time, we walked down on that lower road. Remember? Yeah, we climbed the stairs. Wow, it's so cool. Yeah, and you can sort of see the outline of that, the other chapel, the wall over there. See, it looks lovely, doesn't it? See that across the back? See that across to... Um... Where is that? Yeah, up to all the Grange, that's Grange over there. Grange. Oh wow, that's a cool tree. Huh? No, it won't. <laughs> I cannot imagine you yeah. ever be. <laughs> no. Shall we go into the church? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, want, I do want to go back up there. But. <laughs> when would that have been from? When would that have been from? This gravestone here. It looks really old, like. This one, the way that it's carved, the stone. I know, yeah, that's similar to that other one. Something eight. Was there a one there? 1698 maybe? 1698? I mean, looks like maybe. Oh, yeah. It's hard to tell. Uh, oh, could they? Yeah, could they? yeah. yeah. It is, yeah. And this would be like what? One of those open? Oh, yeah, that's an open grave? 
So what? What would they have done? They would. It's like outer. Like they're encased in. They're maybe, encased. Maybe it was one that was made. Nineteen nineteen, to the glorious memory of the men of Hesham who fell in defense of their country in the Great War. The memorial. Wow. That little archway over there, I guess it went to the chapel up for there. Yeah, that goes up to there. Yeah. And then these these are gated, these graves. Are we allowed to go over there? Yeah, yeah. We can walk up there and go up there. Alright, we'll go over there. Like what a view. So stunning. Guys, I don't know about you, I just I love history. I love to learn about history of places and I just it's amazing to think that all these amazing people who lived here went to church here oh my gosh there's even more graves down here and like what an amazing place to have such a beautiful church this view is just stunning it is just so beautiful and there I'll take you up there there was another chapel on the other side we'll go up, but it's a ruin now such a beautiful church so peaceful too so peaceful let me show you the rest of this like look at that view and then all these graves down here. Little Daisy. <laughs> Look at that view. Look at that. What an amazing final resting place. There's even more down here, Mary. They're beautiful. Look at all of them. Would, would these some, be some of the older graves, do you think? I wonder what the oldest grave in oldest grave here would be. I 
sometimes feel bad when I come to graveyards because I know that I inevitably will be walking along someone's mortal remains, which makes me feel a bit bad. And I don't know, my mom used to say it's disrespectful to walk on the dead, but we did, my mom and I did, when I was younger, do quite a fair share of graveyard trotting, but God, it's amazing. It's amazing. Some of these graves are, I think there must be family plots here. Like, look at this one. Oh, it's this. Oh, those, those little, are those those little ones oh, we saw primrose. when we... This is little primrose. They smell beautiful. Do they? Oh. There's little clumps of them here. Oh, there's like a pink one here. Yeah, here, look. These are the original ones, those. These? These little yellow ones are the original ones. You can't find them all over Scotland. Oh, wow. Yeah. I see they're they're mm. kind of reinforcing some of the stones yes, with wood. So they don't lean. Oh, look at that. Looks like a tree. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Tree bark, doesn't it? That's very yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. it's actually a tree. Is it? Yes. Is it? That's wood. Is it? Or is it, it feels stone? Like wood. It does feel like mm. wood. Yeah, because you can knock it. Yeah. Huh. Weird how this one has all these splotches on. These are interesting. They're like crypts. I wonder why these ones have a, a gate. They must be. Um. Hisham Lodge. Oh, they were drowned while bathing in Morecambe Bay. Oh, that's so sad. Wow, 1895. But they must be significant since they're kind of gated off. I don't know what this one is. Oh. Writing 17, 1807. We'll go up there, guys. We'll go up this way here. So amazing, isn't it? Wow, because you learn so much about history from graves. So that's what my mom always taught me, but yeah, it's so neat. It's peaceful too in graveyards. I find it very peaceful. Well duh. <laughs> but it's I like them. There are birds chirping. And what I what I find weird, well what I like, which most people might find weird, is that nature always reclaims everything. If these graves weren't kept, they would just be covered over. Nature is the eternal everlasting force. No matter what we humans do, nature always reclaims, oh there's Mary, nature will always reclaim her territory which I find quite amazing. Oh, can we? Yeah. <laughs> or do we have to go back out on the path? Let's see if we can get through. <laughs> will I be able to even get through there? I don't know if I will. Yeah, 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 because that's where the the plaque is. I just squeezed through there. That was fun. Yeah. Yeah, we went through the dead end one last time, remember? Ah, okay. oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Made it! <laughs> no falling this time. Wow. St. Patrick's. chapel, an older chapel, I'll get the info over there, but it's amazing, wow, look at the view behind me, what, oh yeah, 
All right, guys, I'm going to show you the actual graves, the watery. Oh, it does look cold. Though, doesn't it? These are. These still blow my mind. How these graves are. So the bodies are in. They would have been carved. Cut, so they would have carved into the stone. Patrick's Chapel, <clears throat> 8th century. So the guys, this was from the 8th century Anglo-Saxon Chapel. Um, 1300 years ago, that's amazing. Very amazing. If you want to find out more, just go to this website here. Beautiful. So that's what they think the chapel looked like. Where we're standing is the far wall. And then those were the graves. They would have had stones, but they have since gone. Beautiful. So yeah, I wanted to show you this to you guys. I was just, I don't know, I just was so taken by it when I came. It's so beautiful. Amazing. So yeah, we're going to walk back now. What? Oh, there's more. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll take you guys in. There is more down here. Yeah, there's the little. So, do you think horses were put here because of that that uh, that loop? Well. I guess it's either for horses or sinners, one of the two, I guess. <laughs> anyway, we're going to walk back. So there you go, guys, a little slice of uh, Hesham slash Morkham history there. I'll link some information below about the church and the grounds and stuff, and if you're ever over this side, definitely come check it out. It's so amazing. So yeah, we're going to enjoy the rest of this sunny day. I may check back in with you guys later. I may not. We'll see. <laughs> anyway. So neat. There's a fold. There's a mummy over there. There it is. Aww. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Yeah, the coloring. Oh, it's drinking. Oh, how oh, nice. Sweet. There's the baby and mommy. Oh, so sweet. Oh. <laughs> Some people have brought carrots to feed the horses. They're all coming. Yeah, there he comes. He's like, food. Aww. Look at the hair. It's so long to get I know. It's too bad. Aww. So I'm just doing a bit of packing. I wanted to sort of pack some of my stuff. Um, I have like stuff from my grandma like that I wanted to take home with me so Mary was helping me to just pack them because um, <clears throat> a couple of the items were china cups that um, my grand and I used to drink from. So I really wanted to take those home with me and there's a bunch of stuff so but you know it's delicate stuff so I'm a little worried. But anyway I'll do the best I can packing it but yeah making a good good head start on packing things here and stuff here lots of bags and stuff ziploc bags are so useful in these ones and pack shoes in those yeah so anyway 
Yeah, so that's good. Anyway, I'm making a head start on all that just because I like to be prepared. I don't know, like, I don't know what kind of packer you are. I like to be prepared. Before I leave, I don't like to be a last minute packer, um, but that's just me. I'm very, <laughs> I guess I'm a bit A-type personality, so I like to have stuff done in advance so that I'm calm on the day that I leave to travel, that I'm, like, chilled out and whatnot. And this time I'm only going down on the train um, to London. Um, I'm not flying yet, so, um because I'm taking a little time off to be with my best friends. So, yeah, anyway, I guess I can repack when I get down there. But anyway, yeah. Anywho, I think I'm going to finish this vlog for today because there's probably not a whole lot else going on. Um, tomorrow, there's a farewell dinner, which will be great. I'll see if I can film some of it. Um, but, yeah, anyway, hope you like this video. If you are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the dingle dongle bell um, because if you don't hit the bell, then you won't get new videos because of YouTube's new algorithm. So if you could do that, that would be amazing. Make sure you uh, hit that good old thumbs up like button and leave me a comment below. Let me know how you're doing and I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Okay, love you. Bye. That's all for today.